This is interesting. Your art consists largely of anthropomorphism and the ways animals and humans communicate. Have others ever challenged you with ideas like how humans and animals cannot effectively communicate with each other or how animals have more complex thought processes than um, humans have more complex thought processes than animals? So that's a complex question. Let's start with the anthropomorphism. Um, I think this is quite timely in a way that um, academically, the, um, the perception of anthropomorphism, I think, has shifted a lot. Um, a lot of you won't remember, but like in, in the 70s and 80s, there were lots of programmes on TV. Ed the Talking Horse. Do you remember that, Stephen? That's an American thing. I do, it? yes. <laughs> Mr. I mean, Ed. We had things, Mr. Ed. yeah, Mr. Ed, that's it, yeah. We <laughs> had things in England like that, and there were sort of animals with, with human speech, with dub over. Um, Tizing tea parties for, for certain tea brands and all sorts of things. And they're all uh, fairly negative in terms of um, the way we used animals for our own purposes, but to portray what we needed animals, what we needed to be seen like, I suppose, and made animals stupid or made animals inferior to us. So anthropomorphism has kind of got a bad name in that sense. But I think more recently we've seen anthropomorphism, which if I sort of break that definition down, it's the uh, projection of human sentiment, emotion and thought onto animals. Um, so we're seeing animals as humans, in a way. We're seeing more as a fundamental part of our of our the way we think about the world and the way that we see it see the world. For instance, when we see a, a face in the clouds, that's a form of human projection onto that inanimate object. That's a, a form of anthropomorphism. And we're seeing now that we 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 think in metaphor. We 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 have. To, because we're humans, we have to see things in human form. We have to understand the world in a relative way. We look at things and we perceive things as it was, as it is a human. So anthropomorph anthropomorphism um, can be a, a very um, deeply embedded uh, cultural and maybe even um, biological uh, process. So, um, yeah, it's something that I sort of take on, take on in my work quite a lot, anthropomorphism, and I, I embrace it and celebrate it.